Hey, Brian from Garage Mahal. Today we have a 2014 Ford F-150 and it has the suicide doors because it's the extended cab and the seatbelt basically is dead. I think it was in a minor road accident so that's been repaired but the seatbelt remains. So a couple things. Uh, I could not find any good stuff online about this so we're going to be going through this ourselves but on the side here there are two little bolts and I believe they are six millimeter and that's going to hold this bottom panel off and what we are looking for is there is a T50 screw here and then there's probably going to be one right here and then we're going to have to take these door panel pieces off and then uh, go through the discovery part so let's get started So those are those two bolts and there was small caps that I already took apart with a pick tool. So these are, that's what these are. And that's our little pick tool that we used. So we got that kind of loose and then that lifts out. And I think this whole door panel kind of comes off. I don't see anything on this anywhere. So let's pull this top piece off. I think they're just regular clips. I do know these have a habit of breaking, so we will try not to break those. I think we got that loose. Yeah, and this piece, I think, pries out. Let's look on the, uh, the replacement one. That's a replacement unit that goes up. So that has a T50 that looks like it sits in there behind there. So let's get the pick tool and see if this can't pry our way out. So that looks like that comes out. And that slide piece behind there. So it's got that T50 up there. You can see where that is. one clip that we can mount back in and see what I mean how they break so put some I'll put some glue on that before we put that back in so that is going to be our our slide and our t50 right there so and that's what we're looking at as far as the t50 
says we're T50, and it looks like this kind of lifts sideways and then pulls out. It looks like we can slide that through the door here. And we're gonna we'll glue that before we put that all back together. Then we got that that piece down. And it doesn't look like the replacement's got that slide. Like we got another clip here that we gotta undo. Let's tilt that forward a little bit. It looks like that piece comes out. Looks like we got another little seven millimeter here. Probably should have had an extension for that, but that's okay. Let's get that little piece off there. Pick tool. I think I gotta take the handle off, but it looks like we're gonna have to. Door handle off. Oh, there's another. Send them to there.
looks like we can kind of get access to the rest of this. I don't feel any other clips. off. Oh, that's why. Here's another hidden piece here. There we go. So this whole piece comes off. Disconnect the window, power lock. So that comes out. Basically, I take the whole door apart. Okay, so that's your door handle. So we got another 50. T50 here. Disconnect. Get the bottom one loose. Basically, kind of tilt up, get this out of the way a bit, a little bit better. So it looks like we gotta tighten this back down a little bit. Lift up on that. Let's lift up as we pull back. As all these tension clips we're going to have to get out of the way.
so that clip comes out and it's garbage. So now we can get this bolt out. This removed. And now we can tilt forward. So we got twist and flip upside down. So Just looks like a body piece. All right, now we can get this with a body peg remover. That pops out. Now it lifts out, and that is your old seatbelt mechanism. And basically everything in reverse. So I put this in. So I'll have to remove this again. like that and then we put this all back in all right so let's tighten this all in there okay then this clips in here with that little clip in there So that's how we untwist that. And then this is going to go back up through these panels. Put that in.
Sorry about some of the silence there, but that took a little bit of concentration. There's two clips under here that become a little bit of an issue. So just make sure that you have those connected in right. Make sure everything snaps in. Just give it one good shove. And then hold it here and pull. Make sure that this, that clip has got on the door. And then under here, make sure that that's all clipped in right. Okay, I'm ready to put this all back together. This goes here. start putting all this back together and this has that, that clip there looks like it kind of goes up underneath supposed to spring back on its own. Dude. That's the old clip. Well, I'm setting it for the bottom. All right, so that looks like that's better. So we can push this one back up. Now we've got that retracting. 
Now we can put this together. screw bottom one now let's get all these little small small little guys in here. That's good. And we have these two little clips that go down in here. back together again everything looks good all right right for garage roll hall that is your uh, replacement seatbelt driver's side and then like I said some uh, some soap and water wash that all down it'll be good as new anyway uh, be safe out there thanks for watching <laughs>